Alright guys, so bled the brakes, finished all the brake jobs and we're good to go. Next thing we need to work on this car is later on is uh, get a water pump for it. Hello everybody, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel. Today we're doing something different with my Mazda. Uh, yes, it's a beater car, but I'll explain what's going on. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is going to add WD-40 to a bearing and a belt. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably the water pump bearing. Something's squeaking, and I'm going to just run the car until it busts because it's a very common issue on Mazda to have that particular bearing squeaking and go bad on you. And then the whole water pump needs to be changed. So I'm just going to see if this would work. It's a WD-40 special gel. If not, then it's okay. Um, also, I'm going to be... Uh, changing all the brake pads on it and doing the tire rotation, so stay tuned for that. So as you can see here, that bearing is down there somewhere, and my job is to spray it up there. All right, so we have, all right, so we have taken off the wheels. Now it's time to take off the brake calipers. I also got brake parts cleaner if that doesn't work. So, here's the new brake pads and here's the old ones. Still have some life in them, but may as well go change them to these. Because it's cheap because I decided to change all four. So, new brakes on this one. We're good to go. So we're finishing up this side and we're going to bleed the brake system and should be good to go with this on here. Alright guys, so bled the brakes finish all the brake jobs and we're good to go next thing we need to work on this car is later on is uh get a water pump. 